Hey, it's Bina. Today I have a question for you guys. Why do we have kids? Do we actually want to have them? Or were we conditioned to want to have kids? This video is mostly going to be a rant of me ranting the reason why we sort of just have kids just to have them. Most people that want to have kids don't realize the big responsibility that comes behind having kids. Some, especially women, would see infants and babies and be like, ooh, cute, I want one. That's not a good reason to have kids. Just because they're cute does not mean you should just have them. <laughs> You need, you need to realize the responsibility that, that comes behind having the baby and making sure you raise them the right way. And another reason why most people have kids would be to not be lonely. And I feel like that alone is not a good reason to have kids. Some people feel like if they have a child, they won't feel so lonely anymore. They will have somebody to look after. But what you don't realize, that need is a selfish need. Because when you have that baby, they're not sure you're not going to be lonely no more. But they're not going to fill that gap you thought they would. Because... When you feel lonely, you want somebody to come into your life to comfort you, to look after you. But most of the baby's life, you're going to be looking after them. They're going to need you, not the other way around. And once, as time passes by, you start realizing this, you won't no longer want to have and continue the path that you thought you wanted. And then you're going to be start blaming the child for not reaching your expectation which is not on is not the child's fault is on your fault for putting so much pressure on that on your child what you actually need is not a child what you actually need is therapy <laughs> and some self reflection self help or going out for for the help from psychiatrists or like i said before therapists that's what you need and the third reason why people have kids is the worst one i in my opinion is the worst one which is they have kids because they think it's gonna keep their partner in their life like some women purposely get pregnant from the guy they slept with or been with just so to keep them but uh, children don't keep men they have shown in many many situations that men don't stay for their child they don't stay in a relationship for a child in a way you think you're gonna trap them but really you're trapping yourself because once they leave who's gonna be taking care of that child you single and alone and then later is gonna go on to you hating them for the reason that their your partner left for their father who left they, you, you're gonna stop blaming them for that it's terrible reason to have a child a terrible reason to bring a child into the world in my opinion going from reasons why terrible reasons why people even have kids in the first place now we're moving on to the process of having the child during the process of having the child, will the woman go through so many things. So many things that we don't learn about from school, from health class back in high school. Like the amount of hair you would lose during the pregnancy and after the pregnancy is crazy. A varies women to women, so you don't know if you're going to be the one or not. And then there goes to the pain and suffering. Some women go through tons of pain during pregnancy. Tons of pain. While others experience pain, but not as much. 
But the thing is, you don't know. You don't know if you're gonna be the one that gets it easy or not. You know, which in my opinion is not a green light. Wouldn't it be a green light at all for me to want to get one? Would get me to have one in the first place? You know, especially the after effect after the baby. You could Google it right now. Google what happens. Usually tons of stuff that women get right after a pregnancy. The work, <laughs> the work that goes into a new more a newborn baby not getting no sleep at all no sleep having to feed them be there everywhere you go with them everywhere so you can't just up and and move to another city a country you have to think about if this gonna if this gonna be a good financial decision for you and your baby that's there to think about you can't just up and go to vacation you can't just up and go see your friends. You have to take them everywhere. Mm. Uh, that would be a red light for me. That would be a red light for me. I cannot. I cannot. Even through all that, you have to also, they might come out with a certain mental issue that you have to be prepared to deal with. If you don't have the mental capacity to deal with a child with special needs, don't have a child. Even though the possibility might be low, that's, it is still a possibility. Not saying having a special needs child is a bad thing, but you have to realize if you know the type of person you are and how you handle things, if you have anger issues, this and that, you need to realize once you have a child, you need to have the most the you have to become a like a literally a buddhist to be honest you have to have the biggest type of patient you could bring out into a person because that child would try you they would try you every day but going through all of that then can come to teaching them that's one thing most people, most parents have a question about. What's the best way to raise a child? Because in my opinion, every child varies. Every child needs a specific need to be able to be raised correctly in a way. Well, my question is, do you have the patience to raise a child? And if the answer is yes, then I believe you can then. If the answer is yes for all the questions I just asked you, for if you can handle all of that, then you are ready for a child. Anyway, that'll be it for the day. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.